Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Well, today, are you looking for a new foundation? Have there not been enough of them released? Well, hold on to your horsies because we got another new one today from Makeup Forever. This is their reformulated HD Skin foundation. It is $43 and comes in 40 shades. And I want you guys to know out there that my dear friend Cindy is nervous because the original formula of this Makeup Forever is her holy grail. Cindy, how many did you say you actually have backup waiting? So when she heard this was being reformulated, we've all been in that situation when your beloved might not be your beloved anymore. So this review will be very important to my friend Cindy and a lot of you out there who are devotees to the original Makeup Forever formula. Okay, well, let's talk about the reformulation. We're gonna try it on. I'm gonna show it to you in two different lights and I'm going to give you my opinion um, and perhaps even confuse your choices a little bit more. What can I say? Okay, so as I said, $43, 40 shades, promises 24 hours of wear. Um, gosh, 24 hours of wear is a tough call for a lot of us, but I have met so many of you while doing this channel who are on call 24 hours or at the workplace 24 hours and you really need that 24 hours to kick in for you. Well, this promises to do so. It promises to be a true skin finish, natural finish, medium coverage, all these things are true. And it uses this new and improved micro skin system that supposedly flexes with your skin. That's the difference between this and the original. Whereas it's also waterproof and sweat proof and the bottle is recyclable, which is very, very important. Interesting thing to note, a few things to note here. Uh, first of all, I do wanna go back and tell you we have some friends visiting on our set today. I have this lovely encouraging card from Pink Sparkle, who is a very valuable member of our community. I was so flattered that she sent that to me that I put it up here for us to look at. And also I want to talk to you about this little guy. See him over there? Look at his little feet. It is the brand new Base Blue sponge. They just sent it to me and I, I this is not sponsored. I just think it is so darn cute. So we're going to use this little penguin sponge. He's covered in silicone and washes off and oh my gosh, he's so cute. So I just had to I just had to put that in there really quickly. And then I want to talk about more about the formula and the shade that I picked. So I picked shade uh, 1R12, which is, believe it or not, kind of a cool tone for rosy skin. And normally I am definitely neutral, but I do have some rosy aspects, which you'll see uh, when we go to the demo, because I will have no makeup on. I have some rosy spots on my cheeks, and so this covers it really nicely. Lately, I've been going sometimes a little bit cooler. I did do the match in store. Had I ordered online, I would have ordered my usual neutral, lighter, and, medium, and light medium shades. So it was really nice to go in store. This is in store if you're in the US, it's in the Sephora stores, and you can get matched. The one thing I find really interesting about this, and we'll talk about this in our wrap up, is that Makeup Forever recommends this for oily skin, combo skin, and normal skin. They leave off dry skin. Mine's normal, normal to dry, and I'm not having any trouble with it, but we're gonna talk more about that as as we get to it. Right now what I want to do is show you the consistency. First of all, the packaging is adorable, that recyclable packaging with a slightly lighter cap. Isn't that super duper cute? And of course the cap pulls off and we have a very traditional pump on a glass recyclable bottle. Let me show you the consistency of the actual foundation, if you can see that there. A nice kind of thick to thin, thin to thick consistency. It's not running down my hand like a skin tint, pretty traditional with the foundation. And in terms of scent, we have a slight, slight um, makeup scent is all I could tell. I'll have to look at the ingredients and think about that more, but we have a scent, slight scent. It is not flowery or perfumey. And I will tell you this, when you put it on the face, it is gone pretty much immediately. But just out the bottle, it does have I mean, the further you are away, it's not overpowering. I have to stick my nose in it to smell it for a moment and even then it dissipates. But uh, scent and fragrance are very important for so many of you and this is not what we would call a fragranced foundation, I just want to say. All right, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you the 1R12 on my skin and I want you to tell me if you think I did a good job on the match. You're kind of getting a preview now. I like to think I did, but let's take a look together. Stay right there. Okay, let's get ready. 
nothing up my sleeve and nothing on my face. Okay, I have two, I have my, um, what I now know is the most enviable thing in my collection. I have the Wayne Goss 2021 20, Holiday Brush, which I've been using so much to put on um, all of the foundations we've been getting. I absolutely love this. But you know what? I have a second one of the little cute little penguin and I have, you know, kind of rinsed him and wrung him out. And we're gonna also check out the little silicone properties here where he is stain resistant. Let's see if I end up, you know, ruining him with the foundation. So we're gonna give it a try and I'm gonna wash them out. We'll see, okay, that'll be kind of fun. All right, let's go ahead and give this a try. You have already seen the consistency of it, um, but here it is, of course, on. We have a normal pump. Here is the shade that I was matched with in store. So let's go ahead and um, start putting it on my face, okay? Let's leave that dot there for just a moment so I can just kind of show you it on one cheek. Forget that dot that I just put there for just a moment. And already you will see this skin-like finish, putting a little bit more onto the cheek. So right now, though it is a bit of a mess, I have applied it just to this cheek here, and I put a dot there, not thinking, um, but you get the idea. There's kind of a half and half look. And let's take our white part of our little sponge here and even put it in a little bit more, which it really loves the application with the sponge. But as you see, I have dirtied his cute little belly. So we'll see. We'll put the little silicone thing to the test, the promise to the test there. And let's go ahead and just kind of use the brush. You guys are so funny when you talk about how I apply makeup. She's so quick and it's so, it looks painful. No, not with this brush, it's so soft. It's not painful at all. Wow, you guys, darn it. This is gonna be hard to decide. This is another absolutely, so far, gorgeous foundation. And I was so worried about them ruining a good thing. Here it is with my whole face done. What a good color match. That's what you get for going in store, a much better color match. I am gonna take this outside now and just show it to you. Here we are in the warm California sunshine. Take a look at this on my face in sunlight and see what you think. Pretty good, huh? All right, let's come back. I'm gonna see if this wash it indeed washes out the little stain here of my silicone penguin. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the wear. So far, it doesn't even feel like I have anything on my face. Darn, another good one. Our decisions are getting tougher here. Stay right there. Well, there's a certain type of pleasure in being able to cross a product off your list. And with so many foundations to choose from, there might be a small part of you that's hoping I will say this is no good and make your choice easier. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am not here to make your choice easier. This foundation appears to not be good. It appears, appears to be fantastic. It's fantastic. I, I will put into, I will pin a comment to let you know how it's wearing. I have been wearing it, okay, I'm not gonna lie, only about two hours, so, so we're not talking a really long time, but it's already not sinking in here. Yesterday I was talking about the new Patrick Star, which I said, you know, sunk in just a little bit, you could kind of fix it, this isn't even doing that. I feel like I have absolutely no makeup on. I am wearing more coverage than I would normally wear, but I feel like I'm wearing less. It is incredibly comfortable. It does feel like it is stretching. And you're gonna say, well, Rebecca, you've been wearing it like two, two and a half hours. How do you know? I feel like I would know already, but I promise you, I will pin a comment. We'll see if it starts to pull or you know pixelate. Or I, I will tell you, I promise. So look for that today is uh, Thursday. If you, depending on, upon when you are seeing this video, check down for that pinned comment. I will let you know how it wears. It is so incredibly comfortable and the shade match is so incredibly true. Oh boy. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, this is a really good one. I'm sorry, I have just made all of our choices harder. Okay, so who should get this? If you really like a nice, beautiful kind of natural finish, kind of medium, true medium, whereas the, it has a little bit of kind of, 
it really has that more natural. The Patrick Star is, is medium to full. This is more of a true, true medium. It doesn't really go full unless you're going to put a lot more on, but it is a medium kind of out of the bottle, so to speak. Um, there's no, I guess you could thin it out, but you know, it, it wants to be a really medium kind of natural finish. So not matte, not dewy. I feel it will pick up on what your skin is like. It looked a little dewy when I first put it on, but of course I now have powders under it. We do have to remember that interestingly enough, Makeup Forever is not recommending this for dry skin. I have normal to dry and I'm not having any trouble. And I'm sure if you have dry, you could just really moisturize. I don't know why they're not recommending immediately out of the gate uh, for dry, but do keep that in mind. If you have oily or combo skin, I think this is going to be your best friend. And again, please remember I have very normal skin, normal even to dry, and it's cold out again in Southern California. Um, so I have really dry skin. I'm not having any trouble with it, but I did want to pass that along to you. Um, this is definitely one to check out if you are looking for an incredibly natural, comfortable, medium foundation. I am sorry, I did not make your choice any easier. And yes, we will be comparing. And yes, I can answer any questions that you have below. But if you're wondering if, if this would be good for you, it, probably, yeah, I, yeah. But leave your comments, let me answer your questions. Let me do any comparisons or shade swatches that you need over on Instagram. Just ask me, princesses, you know I am happy to do it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. Hey, if you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of the fun coming up in the next few weeks and months. Got a lot coming and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.